saying happy birthday. Are you going to sing me happy birthday? Happy birthday, birthday dear Oscar. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. <laughs> How old are you? 27. 27. You old fart. <laughs> Thank you. But I love you. Present time! Only a month older than you are. Shh. <laughs> I'm just turning 23 every year. <laughs> Absolutely. <gasps> Pinky, okay. Like one of your French girls. <laughs> so, what did you get for your birthday? I got some Bose noise cancelling wireless headphones. We should tag them in it so they can sponsor us. Did you hear that, Bose? They're the great. Please sponsor. Can I just have the presents, please? <laughs> Hello. What could that be? I'll open the card first. Thank you, darling. Don't get, like, as I say, it's a small gift because you got a very expensive set of headphones premature to this day. This Just so you had something to open today. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Katana Comics. Yes. Thanks. Show the card. Our favourite comics. These guys are cool. Do you have a t-shirt with them on them? I have a t-shirt with them on it. Yes. Oh, do I have an audition today? <laughs> Happy birthday! Poor Alex has an audition today for the MSO. So it's basically like having a job interview on your birthday. Oh, I wish I had a job interview. Interviews are fine. <laughs> it's so auditions are scary. Yeah, auditions are scary, but you're gonna do amazing! Thank you. You're so prepared. Thank you got this. But no eating those chocolates until after your audition. I'm sorry, but you can't have excessive amounts of sugar that will spike your blood sugar that might make you distracted. <laughs> I'm monitoring your diet this morning. They're all different ones too. <laughs> look, at that, look at that reaction. So these are very fancy chocolates. I don't even know like what flavours they're gonna be. Yeah, well some of them are alcoholic, so you I've definitely no can't have them. Aren't they just so pretty? Like you. Oh, aren't you sweet? So now I have to make this one breakfast, which is fair enough. Big, big audition day and it's your birthday. But I need to go out and get some supplies, get you a coffee. I look terrible in this lighting, it's like... Am I here? I look like one of those uh, cone heads. <laughs> Remember that movie? <laughs> That's better. Front on lightning, lighting to get rid of my bag. You can't see me. It's my birthday. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I look glorious in this light. I'm off to go get your breakfast and supplies. How did it go? Post audition. How did it go? Pretty good. Pretty good. I may or may not have a job. But you know that you're in for a chance because you played your best. Yeah. Well, I mean, stuff went wrong, but I recovered from it well. It was always going to be splits. Splits happen, as we say. Yeah. Um, you can't go and, and do a perfect audition pretty much ever. I so. Don't think that's what they're looking for anyway. No. They're looking for musicality and. Yeah. Maturity in your plan. Do you feel like you delivered that? Yeah. Good. Got to one of the excerpts, to right to the end. It's going really, really well with the trust five. Bam, 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 bam. And split the last note. Very last one note. One hell of a split, and it just hung around in the air for 
couple of seconds. Like, oh, curses, it was going so well up to that point. But the well, next exit, I was determined to. But that was the, the high bit anyway, and you're yeah. going for a low horn part. That's so. right. <laughs> Maybe. Hi guys, so it's now the 12th of December, so it's the next day. Last night was really fun, we went to the Water Rat in South Melbourne and just had some drinks and had dinner there. I had this really nice pumpkin risotto, um, which was quite uh, healthy compared to normal pub meals. I think Alex had like a burger and fries, typical. Um, but I'm just about to actually whip off and get my hair done. I'm so excited because I think it's going to end up being something quite dramatic. I haven't had my hair done in like 10 months, it's been crazy. Um, but we'll see. I'm taking in a few pictures to see what Patrick can do. So I thought I'd check in before that, obviously, so I can give you some context when I come back with new hair. And then tonight we're going out for dinner, so I'm really excited. I'll be able to do a bit of a get ready with me with my makeup for that. It's finally quite warm in Melbourne, so I'm quite happy. I'm wearing these Zara spotty pants. These are my favourite pants in the world, and I wanted them in plain black as well, but they sold out my size. They're just the most amazing little joggers. They're so cool. Oh, this mirror needs a dust. <laughs> I'm wearing my little Mi Piace bow slides, which I love these shoes so much. They're just, they're so cool. And then I've just got this little button-up cami from Forever New. I really have to get to my appointment. It starts very soon, so I'll see you guys soon. New girl, who dis? <laughs> I definitely asked for a lob. It's a little bit shorter than I asked for, but I think it's so cool. I love it. They brought the blonde right up. What do you guys think? Write in the comments if you like it. New wife who did. Holy moly. <laughs> Do you like it? It's amazing. Have you pinned it up like that or that's just how long it is? How long it is. Wow. Hold know. on. It's super zoomed because I was doing my makeup. Maybe it'll cut. Oh, thanks. I'm pleased you think so. So, this is what I'm wearing tonight. Just got my little leather jacket because it will get a bit colder later on. I'm wearing this little black dress that I got from Nudes Boutique. This is what I wore for that performance a few weeks ago that I did, or a couple of months ago now, um, the Provocateur concert. And I'm wearing just some tights with it in my Mi Piace Lhasa heels. And this is how my makeup turned out. Just a classic date night look. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that Alex likes my haircut. I was quite worried that he'd get home and just be like, what is that? Because it's so, so different, but he thinks it's very sexy. <laughs> Say it again, excuse our really messy bed. I want a job. Alex, want a job! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Babe, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Oh. I'm so happy. This is what happens when you finally win a job as a musician. Let's explain what kind of job it is. Come through to the lounge, we'll do details. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. My poor baby, he's so exhausted after that. Oh. <laughs> what good news though to have. It is good news. Now I'm we get to go out and have thoughts. celebratory dinner. So, basically this job, this is Alex's Basically, the first big job you've ever won. It's with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. One of the best orchestras in Australia. And what kind of job is it? Three months contract. No. Like filling in for... I have no idea. Basically. It is only three months, but... I accept! <laughs> but it's a great start. It's like an amazing thing to have on a CV. It's gonna give us... It's a big vote of confidence. So proud of you. Thank All you those know. hours of practice. 
I'm exhausted. I know. Can we just stay in? No, we're going out. Starting our night with a little champers to celebrate. Here, Anna is looking amazing. Thanks. Hello. Okay. Champagne. Yeah, thank you. Two champagnes, that's right, because we're celebrating. So your birthday and your job. That's right. Happy birthday to me, from yeah. me. <laughs> All that hard work. Yeah. So here's Anna looking like a bombshell, uh, which is very nice for me. Very good, thank you, dear. I'm really pleased you love my hair because I was quite worried. It's just so different. I thought you'd be yeah. like that. Well, I gotta say, my cheeks currently hurt from smiling. <laughs> I'm like all of a sudden so exhausted.